Well, Michael, spring debut yesterday against the Tigers, 36 pitches, and obviously Braves fans very curious to hear how you're feeling, how yesterday went, just where are you right now in the process? Yeah, things are feeling good. Thanks for uh, thanks for having me on first. But, uh, yeah, it was good to get back out there and kind of feel a little bit of adrenaline and, uh, you know, see pretty close to a big league lineup and uh, what they're going to put out there this year. So that was fun. Um, today feel good. Uh, ready to kind of look forward to what's next. We got a conversation that we got to have, and I think uh, that'll all get ironed out, and those details will be available pretty soon. So, 35 pitches yesterday as RC it takes a weak swing and a miss. Uh, it, and maybe you're hitting on that right there, but the next step is that still to be determined for you at this point? Yeah, I think a little bit. I think we had talked initially about one of those last two games at the end of camp, but you know, obviously innings innings are hard to come by right now with Chuck kind of being on the same schedule and. Uh, he's got to he's got to get his uh, six seven innings in now. So uh, we got to talk about that. We got to talk about when I'm throwing a bullpen and all that kind of stuff. So uh, they like I said, uh, that'll be an ongoing conversation today and probably be uh, kind of decided later later then. Mike, anything you've had to kind of change a little bit with with the Achilles and the way you land or kind of redo things a little bit. But I mean, you still had the velocity going yesterday that we're used to seeing. Yeah, yeah, I've changed a lot of things actually. I'm still kind of in the process a little bit of it. And, uh, most of it's the way the way I take my weight down the mound to be honest with you a lot of it uh, got a little unathletic throughout the throughout the years um, got a little force a little little muscle bound and uh, just trying to get back to being an athlete is, is the premise of it but um, yeah a lot of a lot of things that are gonna be a little different but uh, as far as stuff and competitiveness goes it should uh, should be the same if not better I know it's been tough the last couple of years being having to be in the training room going through uh, what you've had to go through has it been kind of nice to be out here with the guys and feel like you're getting back into a routine absolutely yeah that's the nicest part about uh we call it getting out of daycare uh, getting out of rehab <laughs> so um you get back with the with the crew even take the pfps and all that kind of stuff uh, so it's real nice off the glove of Lynn door rc is aboard to start off the bottom of the third for the braves by the way, you notice, Michael, that I called you Michael. Jeff called you Mike. <laughs> we, we, the world, the world needs to know what do you want to be called. No, I, you know what? It, I didn't realize it was going to be such a such a deal or deal. I guess it was. Uh, you know, my mom always said, you know, your name is Michael, and uh, parents and uh, everybody called me called me Michael close to family. So uh, it's kind of always how how it was, and uh, for some reason, kind of started going with Mike. Uh, with baseball and it kind of stuck for a little bit, but uh, I know more than a few people out around here kind of asking me when are you going to make that decision to go back and they asked me this uh, This winter if I wanted to do it and get it officially on uh, contracts and uh, You know nameplates and all that kind of stuff. So I, I said sure let's go and yeah, then it kind of blew up a little bit But what are your teammates calling you? Are they still call you Mike? Honestly, nobody calls me by first name. Honestly, there's <laughs> call a couple, couple that call me a Michael now on purpose. Um, <laughs> yeah. You know, I call I call Michael Harris, Michael, and Tonkin. Uh, it's kind of our thing. But uh, yeah, most people are Soroka or Rock, whatever they say. It's uh, it's always last name. <laughs> o2 here to Ronald Acuna, who flew out back in the first, and we swing to it and hold up, one away. So, you know, when guys are coming back from an injury like you did, no matter the sport, I always hear them talk about. It's like you're walking before you're crawling and you start to get more confidence with every pitch with every bounce off the mound to feel the ball and throw to first do you start to feel more confident out there? Absolutely. Yeah, I mean the best pitches I threw yesterday were arguably the most the most loose and uh, you know Perceived effort was down actually um, Along some of the some of the hardest pitches some of the best sliders uh, Just kind of let it happen and, and trust it a little bit I think that's that's the hardest part is getting back to that point where that's your mindset every single pitch and not trying to do too much um, But yeah, it's it's a bit of a process and we're gonna make sure we get uh, what we can in uh, to make and give me the best chance to be able to repeat that and That way when we're back we're uh, we never look back, you know Michael Soroka joining us here with one out one on in the bottom of the third and You know the mental side of it is one thing the physical side of it is another and you were talking about your weight falling forward off of the mound I was wondering if you could go back and expound on that maybe for the folks at home What are you trying to do? What are you trying yeah. to get back to with your mechanics? Yeah, I think uh, you know, it's, it's ironic because I think it's some things that we all do a little bit better when we're a little younger because you know we, we figure out the best way to move and and the most athletic way to, to, to throw a pitch as hard as you can um, you know and over the years Things creep in as far as you know what I'm trying to do with certain pitches certain sliders trying to command the ball a little differently 
uh, and you, you start to try and make things happen, and uh, you kind of get out of the athleticism of it. Uh, so working with uh, biomechanists that I saw last year, Bob Kais, um, kind of put a lot of things in perspective for me that, you know, I basically wasn't using my weight down the hill. Well, hang on, because uh, Matt Olson just did it again. Yeah, he did. Oh, my goodness. His seventh homer of the spring. That is ridiculous. <laughs> and we're tied at two. He's going to get the famous MVP of spring draft. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't even see the swing there. I heard it, though. I knew it was, yeah. I knew it was out. Yeah, he was loud. Yeah. I mean, well, I, I thought, again, this, uh, you know, for him, Another a, a year of normal spring training. He's not flying from Arizona here like he did. He seems more comfortable. And you know, look, he had a lot of pressure on him last year. And I feel like he's been talking to him. He, he is so much more relaxed, and I think it's showing right now. I mean, Michael, have you felt that about Matt Olson? Absolutely. Yeah. I, I mean, last year obviously we had a he had a lot of expectations that I'm sure he wanted to love up to, and uh, you know, everything everything surrounding the the whole trade, uh, the whole Freddie situation as well. I mean, it, it was big shoes to fill and. Uh, you know, he's he stepped in really well and now I think like you said he gets to relax and go out there and have fun and uh, Play baseball and uh, I think we're seeing the results of that partner. We hope we see you doing that real soon as well Thanks so much for the time. Thank you guys so much for having me. All right. Pleasure. Thanks Michael Michael the there artist formerly known as Mike <laughs> Michael Soroka